Good afternoon, Resonate. Uh, thanks for joining us here today. My name is Justin. I, I get the privilege of serving you as one of your elders. Uh, and this is my wife, Rona. Um, I know that we're going on to almost week three, and, and a lot of us out there are, are probably just wanting this to be over with, this, this uh, shelter in place. Uh, many of us weren't anticipating of, uh, on giving up this much for Lent, uh, but we, uh, we want to be encouraged today by what God has to share with us uh, in, in our scriptures. So, in the scriptures. So, um, Hi. Hi, everyone. <laughs> um, my name is Rona, and I will be reading over Psalm 8 for us today. Psalm 8 says, O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babies and infants, you have established strength because of your foes, to still the enemy and the avenger. When I look at your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him, and the son of man that you care for him? Yet you have made him a little lower than the heavenly beings, and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, and also the beasts of the field, the birds of the heavens and the fish of the sea, whatever passes along the paths of the seas. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Um, Psalms is one of my favorite books, and um, one of the things I wanted to share with you all today was just a little bit of a story that stands out to me personally that relates to this psalm. Um, one of the challenges that God uh, invited me into was to lead a small group, to lead a missional community, as some of you know it as. And um, I struggled with a lot of pride, a lot of doubt, a lot of fear, and just needing approval from others. So, of course, a calling like this um, doesn't seem natural to me because who am I? And who um, does God even know what he's doing by calling me into this? Because by the world's standards, I'm not the best leader at all, and I shouldn't even be considering it. Um, but unlike the world, which the world would say, you know, start to affirm me and remind me of who I am, God starts reminding me of who he is first. He starts with him. He doesn't start with me. And that makes all of the difference. Um, just like this psalm, he invites me to marvel at his glory, to see the details of his work, to see his vastness and his goodness, and to see um, someone like me as lower than him and how great he is uh, um, over me. This helps me to remember um, who I am in him, uh, not apart from him, and being reminded that anything that he even gives me and calls me to, even situations he puts me in, is meant to demonstrate his goodness and his excellence. And one of the things that I wanted to um, just reiterate, especially uh, with everything going on right now, is that you know his response to our fears is not one of dismissal. He could easily do that because he's God and he's actually in his right to do that. He's greater than us and who are we to doubt him? Um, but he instead graciously uh, tends to our fears and invites us first to marvel at his glory um, that remains steadfast and true even throughout our fears. Um, it starts and ends with him no matter what. And I love how this psalm does exactly that. It starts by saying, O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. And it ends with, O Lord, O Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. It starts and ends with him. Thank you, Rona. And, and yeah, I, I'm, I'm encouraged by her story. I'm encouraged by what Scripture says here uh, about God. You know, um, God is, is laying out things that, that he's entrusting in us, uh, things that we aren't capable of handling of our own. Um, we're, we're, we're inadequate uh, when it comes to even taking care of this earth, and God's entrusting it with us, uh, left, on, left on to our own ability. Um, so what does it say about who God is that he would uh, uh, give us dominion over these things. Um, it, it shows that uh, uh, there's a there's a um, an expression of love there, and at the same time um, that he uh, wants us to join in with what he is doing, um, and that uh, by by uh, showing that he's actually still in control even when we fall short, and um, situations like this where like with Rona is sharing about her leading an MC and. And, and God giving dominion over, over the earth, like it says in Psalm 8. Um, it, it shows also that out of that, uh, that even though we know that we're not capable of doing these things on our own, that, that God is still in control and that um, by uh, 
uh, allowing him to work through us, it, it creates this, this closer connection with him. We see God in a more intimate way. We see God in a more loving way. Um, and then just like in this current situation that we find all of ourselves in uh, with this pandemic, um, that, that uh, God is worthy to be trusted uh, because um, he has shown over and over again uh, how he has um, uh, given things to us, shown things to us, uh, even if we don't deserve it, even if, even if we're not um, able to, to perform to the way that uh, we think we should, we see that God still uh, um, uh, um, provides that, 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 um, that help and that assistance and, and that grace. Um, and more importantly, like we don't see that uh, even, we don't see that uh, any more displayed, any more greater displayed than what we see on the cross uh, where uh, salvation was, uh, was shown and displayed uh, through Jesus. So um, may we be encouraged today that uh, we can trust God uh, because he is in total control. Um, he he uh, gives us uh, um, um, the earth to rule over, not for our own benefit, not for our own benefit, but for his glory, uh, that his strength and his love be made known um, today. So uh, we want to close with a, a few things that we want to pray with, uh, pray for. Uh, first, um, I want to pray for all the doubt that uh, some of us, or maybe all of us, are facing um, in this current circumstance. Um, we're finding it hard to believe that God actually does have everything in control. And so we want to pray for that. We want to pray for our hearts that we would believe um, that, that God is still here. He has not left us. He, he hasn't left us alone, um, that he's still uh, in the midst of everything. So let's, let's, I'm going to give you guys a, a couple of minutes to pray, and then I'm going to uh, go ahead and close us in that. Jesus, I, I pray that um, you help our unbelief, um, that we look around us and we just think, how can uh, any good come out of this, God? Uh, but we pray, Lord, that um, um, that you would hold us steady, that we would see it through the end, God, that we would come out of this situation glorifying you, being closer to you, and and, and worshiping you, God, in a whole, whole new way that um, we would never have anticipated before, Lord. In your name we pray, Jesus. Amen. And so um, the second thing we're going to be praying for is uh, for us to be reminded of the God that we serve. I'm going to give you a few minutes to, uh, to pray on that while we pray a lot on, on our end. Um, God, as this psalm says, uh, remind us of your goodness, remind us of your vastness, and also remind us how wonderful it is that even as glorious as you are, as far above us as you are, you are mindful of us. You are mindful of our fears, our anxieties, our worries, our doubts, all of the small things that um, are so beneath you, and yet, God, you graciously tend to them. Um, help us to remember um, that you are far bigger than even um, anything in front of us that may scare us or worry us, and help us to remember that just as you were a God before, you are a God now, and you are a God tomorrow. In Jesus' name we pray. And, and lastly, I just want to take a moment here for us to pray for all of us that have lost hope. Um, uh, we've just got word that uh, things are being extended out with the shelter in place, and um, it just seems like it's never going to end at some times. And so we just want to pray for, for our hearts, uh, for those that have um, um, just lost the, the hope that they, that they had. Uh, Jesus, may we be reminded uh, during this time, God, that our hope is not in the world. Um, our hope is not in... Um, what the world can provide, God, but our, our hope uh, rests solely on who you are and who you say you are, uh, God. Uh, we look to scripture and we look, look to you, Lord, uh, to find the reassurance that we have uh, of being uh, with you, being known by you, and being loved by you, Jesus. In your name we pray, God. Amen. Thanks for joining us here today, and uh, we look forward to seeing you next week at 12 o'clock on Tuesday. Take care, everybody. Love you guys. Bye, everyone.